To connect your vehicle to your laptop, you will need some kind of OBD2 interface. And there are a few types for the laptop. First, you can have a connection Bluetooth box like this. You can also use completely wireless Bluetooth adapter or just a simple cable directly from your car's OBD port in your laptop. Which of this type should you choose? That depends on the vehicle you want to use it for. For example, this cable is just for Toyota and Lexus for the TechStream software. It has a lot of OEM functions, but just for Toyota and Lexus. This one is Vacom cable. This software made for Volkswagen, Audi, Skoda, Seat. And you get really all of OEM functionality, but only for those brands. And if you want to use your laptop to scan different vehicles, there are also some options that will work for multiple car brands. You can get Bluetooth adapter like this OBD link and use it with OBD with software. That is free diagnostic software that you will get by purchasing this adapter. That will be enough to read clear codes and even read some live data. But if you want to have some advanced features like service procedures or bi-directional testing, I am recommending this Delphi. Also, this is the one I will be using in the video to show you what you can do. And for you Using laptop as a VD2 scanner, I am highly recommending you to get a separate laptop just for this purpose. And that is because you can easily damage your laptop in garage. And to install a lot of this software, you will have to disable your firewall or your antivirus. So I wouldn't risk it with my main computer. My recommendation is buy some refurbished laptop like this Lenovo. It cost me under $200. And by buying refurbished laptop, you can also get the ability to insert CDs because a lot of this OBD2 software actually comes with CD. Okay, so let me take this box and I will show you how to connect it with your vehicle. Okay, so you need to find your OBD port. This is where you plug your adapter. In almost every car, the OBD port is always in the same location. Well, two main locations that will be either under the dashboard, somewhere here, which isn't the case with this Punto. But for most of the cars, the OBD port will be somewhere around here. If you cannot find it here, most likely it will be in the interior fuse box. This is the cover for a fuse box. And here is our OBD port. And this adapter even have the built-in flashlight. Get out. There is OBD port. Okay, I will go ahead and connect it. And the scanner will let you know that connection is established by lighting up. And very important thing, so the scanner can communicate with your vehicle. You need to have ignition on. Turn on the key. Now the ignition is on and our scanner will be able to communicate with vehicle's control modules. Okay, so now we have to input vehicle details. Fiat. Punto. Vehicle model 2004. Okay, now select the engine. This is petrol and we can go ahead and perform this scan now. Okay, communication established. Now we can go ahead and read the fault codes. We have something wrong with our vehicle speed sensor. We can erase codes. Now the codes are still here, which means these codes are permanent, so cannot be erased. Most likely there will be some broken wiring for that sensor. And that is why we cannot erase fault, because when the sensor doesn't output any voltage, the fault is always present in engine control module, so it cannot be erased. You can also check your live data. I am in the garage, so I don't want to turn on the engine, but can check the TPS sensor, so throttle position sensor. Let me go into graph mode. And now if I press on the gas pedal, we should see some change. The maximum seems to be 67 degrees. Let pedal go and it will drop to zero. Now even if you use another software you will be able to see these live data graphings. Because with any software I tried for my laptop as OBD2 scanner, they always do have live data graphings. Also, all of them are able to read codes, erase codes, and depending on which software you're choosing, you will also get access to advanced functions like ECU coding that is unlocking hidden feature of your vehicle. Then you have service procedures like programming new keys or performing brake path change. If you have electronic brake calipers, what you can also do with most of these laptop softwares is bidirectional testing. So controlling almost any component that is activated by electricity in your car, that would be relays, switches, power windows, headlights, cooling fan, anything that is run by electricity, you can test it out quickly with the scanner. Check it out. Let me go to this component activation. Now we are in engine control module. These are the tests only for the engine. Then we will have whole separate lists for all other control modules. For example, electric fan speed, so activation of cooling fan. 
start it. See, I activated my engine cooling fan just from this scanner. And these tests, as I said, are available in multiple control modules. Now I will go to this multifunction and open my body module, central body, Delphi Marelli. And now we have the different list just for body module test. For example, our headlights, the low beam first, activate. Now high beam. Or we can even try locking or unlocking. You get the idea. Again, this list is just for body module. We still have some other modules that will have their own bidirectional tests available. So this kind of gives you idea why you should use laptop as a way to scanner because you can get some advanced functions like this. And this one I am using. It costs only around 50 bucks. I also have complete separate review of that. You can check it up here to see all the functions you can do with it. So the advantage of laptop ability to scanner is definitely ability to get advanced functions for a really cheap price. Even the other scanners I showed you, for example, the TechStream, also did this $50 cable, around $30 on AliExpress. And you can get really advanced functionality of Toyota OEM software like ECU coding. For my Toyota I use it to unlock a bunch of different stuff. For example opening windows from my key fob or changing the behavior of my turret signals and also disabling my seatbelt warnings. In the description there will be a link to article based laptop with two scanners. You can find the prices and more information about each of them. And also if I discover some more good peaks in the future I will list them out in that article.